Hey folks, how's it going? We're checking out more Black Adder. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Enjoyed the last episode, man. One of you guys commented below that Tim, the guy who played Percy, was in Game of Thrones. I had to look it up. He was the Northern Lord who got checked by like Lady Mormont. When you guys were telling me, like, I remember that. That dude, he was the one who was saying like, he wasn't going to put, you expect me to put spears in the hands of little girls or something like that. And she like snapped on him. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's crazy. He looks nothing like he looks in the show. And I know he's aged and all that jazz, but if you look at, like, um, Rowan, when I see him in, like, any modern stuff, he still looks the same. Like, as he looks in this, Mr. Bean, the whole shebang, he still looks the same, with the exception of his gray hair. But, yeah, the guy who plays Tim, the guy who plays Percy, looks completely different with that full beard and everything. I have to look up some pictures of him without a, the beard and see if he looks even recognizable, because he just looks, he looks so different to me. Maybe because he has, like, that weird face that kind of goes down like this, almost like an alien, but with the beard, it kind of fills it out and makes it a bit more oval or something. That's all I can think of, but I have to look it up. I definitely have to take a look and see um see him without the beard, because maybe that's why he looks so different in Game of Thrones. In Game of Thrones, and I would have never realized it was him if one of you guys didn't say something. Look nothing like him. It's crazy how different he looks. Maybe the eyes look the same. Maybe I got to do a side by side comparison, but yeah, I guess it's not really that important. Let's just go and jump into it, and we'll talk about it more in the end. Oh God, bills, bills, bills. One is born, one runs up bills, one dies. What have I got to show for it? Nothing. A butler's uniform and a slightly effeminate hairdo. <laughs> Honestly, Baldrick, sometimes I feel like a pelican. Whichever way I turn, I've still got an enormous bill in front of me. <laughs> Pass the biscuit barrel. Don't worry, Mr. B. I have a cunning plan to solve the problem. Oh, no. Yes, Baldrick, let us not forget that you tried to solve the problem of your mother's low ceiling by cutting off her head. <laughs> But this is a really good one. You become a dashing highway man, then you can pay all your bills, and on top of that, everyone will want to sleep with you. Warwick, I could become a prostitute and pay my bills, <laughs> and everyone would want to sleep with me, but I do consider certain professions beneath me. My favourite's the shadow. What a man. They say he's halfway to being the new Robin Hood. Why only halfway? Well, he steals from the rich, but he hasn't got round to giving it to the poor. <laughs> Look. I've got a poster of him. Baldrick, I have no desire to get hung for wearing a silly hat. If I want to get rich quick, all I have to do is go upstairs and ask Prince Fathead for a rise. <laughs> oh, the bank's open. <laughs> <laughs> so, what about the £5,000 that Parliament voted you only last week to drink yourself to death with? <laughs> oh, God, I'm afraid. You see, I've discovered this terrifically fun new game. It's called Cards. What happens is, you sit round a table with your friends and you deal out five cards each and then the object of the game is to give away all your money as quickly as possible. <laughs> all the chaps say I'm terrific at it. I seem to remember I was very bad at it. I always seem to end up with more money than I started with. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's all down to practice. I'm a natural, apparently. The only drawback, of course, is that it's pretty damned expensive. So basically, I was wondering if you could lend me a couple of hundred. I'm afraid that's impossible, sir. I'm as poor as a church mouse that's just had an enormous tax bill on the very day his wife ran off with another mouse, taking all the cheese. What am I going to do? Oh, yes, tally ho then, Blackadder. Yes, you fix it up. You know the kind of girls I like. They've got to be lovers, laughers, dancers. And bonkers. <laughs> well, that goes without saying. Oh, I thought they going to try to gamble God. to win the money back or something. Something wrong, Mr. B? I can't find a single person suitable to marry the prince. Oh, please keep trying. I love a royal wedding. The excitement, the crowds, the souvenir mugs. <laughs> the worrying about whether the bride's lost weight. Get more coffee. It's horrid. Change it. Take me roughly from behind. No, not like that. Like this. Trousers off. Tackle out. What am I to do first? <laughs> well, that's what Caroline's like. <laughs> She's famous for having the worst personality in oh, Germany. Shit. And as you can imagine, that's up against some pretty stiff competition. <laughs> so, you're stuck then? Yes, I'm afraid I am. Baldrick, why is half the front page being covered? I don't know. You do know, don't you? Yes. <laughs> You've been cutting out the cuttings Sweet. about the elusive shadow to put in your highwayman scrapbook, haven't you? Oh, I can't help it, Mr. B. His life is so dark and shadowy and full of fear and trepidation. <laughs> so is going to the toilet in the middle of the night when you don't keep a scrapbook on it. I do. No, let's see. Honestly, Blackhead, I don't know why I'm bothering to get dressed. As soon as I get to the naughty Hellfire Club, I'll be debagged and radished for non-payment of debts. 
Radish, sir. Yes, they pull your britches down and push a large radish. Yes, right yes, yes. Your... yes <laughs> Gross. There's no need to hammer it home. <laughs> As a matter of fact, they do often. No, no! <laughs> your, um, your money worries are, are, are over. They can't want to hear that well, shit. Hurrah for that! I have found you a bride. Her name is Amy, daughter of the noted industrialist Mr. Hardwood. Tally ho, my fine, saucy young trollop. Now let's see. Trip along here with all your cash and some naughty night attire, and you'll be staring at my bedroom ceiling from now till Christmas, you lucky tart. <laughs> Yours with the deepest respect, etc. Signed George. P.S. Woof woof. Well, what do you think? Would you mind if I change just one tiny aspect of it? Which one? The words. <laughs> Leave the details to you, Blackadder. Just make sure she knows I'm all man. Oh, shit. With a bit of animal thrown in. <laughs> Certainly, sir. <laughs> well, you must be an awful clever clock. Because you're the queen from the last season. She looks a little different, though. And so we that I sometimes think the pixies gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> He continues. Oh, dear. His faces. Oh, Lady Amy, <laughs> queen bride. of all your sex. I apologise for the word, madam, but Prince George is a man of passion. Oh, don't worry. I can get pretty cross myself sometimes. Hey, Mr. Blackheader, I've heard a teensy rumour that the prince has the manners of a boy cow's dingle dangle. What do you have to say to that? <laughs> oh, that is a lie, madam. Uh, prince George is shy and just pretends to be bluff and crass and unbelievably thick and gitty. <laughs> Whilst deep down, he is a soft little marshmallowy, piglety type of creature. Oh, I'm so glad, because you see, I'm a delicate, tiny thing myself. Weak and silly, and like a little fluffy rabbit. You want to meet him? Well, if we're going to get married, I think I probably ought to. I know. Tell him to come and serenade me tonight. I'd be on my balcony in my gym jams. <laughs> Those lay off. Who's this big girl's blouse, then? Father, this is Mr. Blackadder. He's come a-wooing from the prince. Isn't that a bit unfair on her? Well, it's not going to be fair on him, either. The girl is wetter than a haddock's bathing costume. <laughs> but you know, Baldrick, the world isn't fair. If it Ooh. was, things like this wouldn't happen, would they? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely little dumpling, how in love I am. Let me be your shepherdkins. You can be my lamb. Well, I think we'll be very lucky if she doesn't just come out onto the balcony and vomit over us. Just stand in the world. Just right here, sir. All right, come on out here, you rotten, <laughs> sauce bottle. <laughs> woof, woof. Who the fucking thing? Yes, yes, tis I, your gorgeous little love bundle. Oh, George, I think you must be the snuggly, wuggliest lambkin in the whole of Toyland. Yuck! <laughs> um, I nothing, there was just a little fly in my throaty. Yuck! Yuck! Do you want a hanky wanky to go the flemmy wemmy woo woo into? Oh my god. No, 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 it was just the wind whistling through the trees and making a noise that sounded like. Joy, then come, Prince Cuddly Kitten. Climb up my ivy. Sausage time. <laughs> there is a down there with you. Oh my God, yes, yes. Oh, so no. there is a sausage <laughs> intruder spying on our love. Oh, hit him, oh, George. Shit. Hit him. Very well. Sausage time. Don't mind screaming, Your Highness. He wants your daughter Amy for his wife. Well, his wife can't have her. Major <laughs> <laughs> sir, to come here with such a suggestion. Mine, sir. Or I shall take off my belt and by thunder, my trousers will fall down. <laughs> uh, sir, sir, you misunderstand. He wants to marry your lovely daughter. Oh, oh, can it be possibly true? Surely lovers never cross such boundaries of class. Baldrick, have you no idea what irony is? Yeah. It's like Goldie and Bronzy, only it's made of iron. <laughs> <laughs> no mind, no mind. Just 
saddle the prince's horse. Well, that would be difficult. He wrapped around that gas lamp in the Strand last night. <laughs> well, saddle my horse, then. What do you think you've been eating for the last two months? <laughs> <laughs> well, go out into the street and hire me a horse. Hire your horse? For ninepence? On Jewish New Year in the rain? A bare fortnight after the dreaded horse plague of old London town? With the blacksmith strike in its 15th week and the Dorset horse fetishists fair tomorrow? <laughs> Well, get this on, then. <laughs> it looks as though you can do it. Hardyman, I also have a jewel. I fear, however, that I have placed it here, beneath my petticoats, for protection. Well, in that case, madam, I think I'll leave it. I'm not sure I fancy the idea of a jewel that's been in someone's pants. <laughs> a single kiss of those soft lips is all I require. Never, sir! A man's soft lips is his own private kingdom. <laughs> I shall defend them with my life. I'm not talking to you, Gurunda. <laughs> no, Quicksilver, you couldn't. Well, that's not fair, then. I've had you on my back for ten miles. I haven't even got a kiss out of it. Oh, all right. Very well, then. Oh. <laughs> all fair now? Not really, no. <laughs> no pleasing some horses. hi -o, Quicksilver! <laughs> to defend my honor. Oh, shut your face, you pregnant junkie baghead. <laughs> well, Maurice, <laughs> a good night's work, I think. It's time to divide <laughs> I think it's only fair oh, that we shit. should share it equally. Then I'll probably drop her and get 200 concubines to share my bed. Won't they be rather prickly? <laughs> <laughs> Concubines, Baldrick, not porcupines. I still can't believe you're leaving me behind. Oh, don't you worry. When we're established on our plantation in Barbados, I'll send for you. No more sad little London for you, Baldus. From now on, you will stand out in life as an individual. Will I? Well, of course you will. All the other slaves will be black. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's all this I hear oh, about bathing costume in 40 gallons of coconut oil. Suzanne, if we were the last three humans on Earth, I'd be trying to start a family with Baldrick. <laughs> Freaking brutal. Well, here I am, all packed and ready to go. Darling, I'm so pleased to see you. And I've got a little surprise for you. Thank you for introducing me to a genuinely new experience. What experience is that? Being pleased to see you. <laughs> now, what are you doing here, you revolting animal? Bogus. I've come for the Shadows autograph. You know, I'm a great fan of the Shadows. Yeah, yes, just in time, you boulder. Come on. What? Has he gone? Oh, what a pity. I wanted him to autograph my new poster. Look, his reward's gone up to £10,000. Good Lord. £10,000? Yep. That gives me an idea that she had an accomplice. <laughs> but they don't know who it was. <laughs> Amy, Amy, so Amy, I shall never forget you. Never, ever, never, ever. Right, what's for breakfast? Centuries. <laughs> <laughs> right. Actually, come to think of it, Blackadder, I didn't need to get married anyway. I've got pots of money. Really? Mm, most extraordinary thing happened. I was a bit peckish during the night, so I nipped downstairs to the biscuit barrel. The biscuit barrel. And do you know what oh, I found shit. inside? Ten thousand pounds that I never knew I had. Of course. I got so much money now, I don't know what to do with it. How about a game of cards? <laughs> Excellent idea. <laughs> yeah, man, this was a decent episode. I'm almost positive it was the queen. I wasn't sure at first, but I'm pretty positive it was the queen now. I think the only people we haven't seen yet in the season yet is, I think her name was Nursie and Stephen Fry. I haven't seen either one of them in this season yet, so I'm wondering... Who they're gonna pop up ass in the season if it even happens? It might not even happen, but I'm just curious if they if they are gonna pop up because I think we've seen everyone else. Percy's come came back as that guy. I forgot what he was called, the one who drank the poison. Um, of course, Baldur's been here since episode one. Of course, Black Adder. Now we got the Queen. So yeah, man. I wonder who else from like the main little entourage from the first season we're gonna see in this. Very funny. The old man and that the old man and the lady that he robbed when she was like naming off all the stuff like she's. On opium, she has she's pregnant and she killed the mom. And when he like yelled at it at the end, he was like, "Shut up, you um." He said, "Shut up, you pregnant junkie." Something that was really, really funny. When he started, when Black Adder started rambling off about with why the German lady won match the prince, and Balder thought he was talking to him. That was really, really funny. But yeah, man, this was a good episode. I enjoyed it. It was goofy. It was fun. 
It was funny. Just good stuff. I enjoyed it. I thought it was. I thought it was a really a decent episode. I really thought it was going to end with like a card game or something, though. I mean, it technically it did because he's going to play against the Prince, try to get that ten grand back. But I thought the way they're going to get the money back was them trying to like you know get the other type of card game and playing against people. That's just the direction it seemed like it was going to go in after the Prince was talking about how he lost all his money to like a card game because he was playing the wrong. wrong. He thought then the whole intention was to lose money. So, and also him trying to talk to old girl who was acting like a child, the one who. Used between the previous episode, I forgot whatever her name was, but I'm like, oh my god, this lady's a loon. Uh, but it was funny when he like like how he was ruining it, <laughs> being a goofball. But yeah, dude, this was a this was a decent episode. I enjoyed it. I think I said that already. Yeah. All right, guys, that is it. That is all for this one. I'm hopefully you guys are happy, safe, and healthy.